In the spectrum measurements of the 6000 series, there is a measurement called total power. This can be very useful for measuring the total power of RF pulse type waveforms. So in this section we're going to measure the characteristics of this particular RF pulse waveform. So we can see it has a, a rep rate frequency being measured of 1 megahertz and the pulse width of each pulse is about 43 nanoseconds. So this is corresponding to a frequency of around about 20 megahertz. So now we're going to move into the spectrum display. So first thing we do is measure the power, the total power of this particular signal. So I'm going to add the measurement and we're going to select total power. Select OK. So here we see the uh, total power. This particular pulse signal is around uh, 80 milliwatts. So this gives a very useful indication of the total power of a signal. Further, we can measure the frequency uh, content of the signal. So again, we could use the cursor and just position it on the first component of the lobe here. And that is 1 megahertz. So we can directly here measure the um, rep rate of the signal. And if we measure the frequency of the first lobe, this will tell us information about the pulse width. So in fact, we measured it as 40 uh, nanoseconds, which again corresponds to the frequency of around about 20 megahertz. So we can get a much more accurate measurement now of the uh, RF pulse type signal. And further, we can see the um, clock pulse is uh, very repetitive, but there is some ran more random uh, RF signal here. And if we put the cursor on that, that is around about uh, 80 megahertz. So again, if we look back at the uh, YT type display, in fact, yes, we can see there is a, another RF pulse signal there. And in fact, if we just trigger on that, uh, we could actually try and just get some measurement on the frequency of the RF pulse and look at the duration of that particular signal. So, put there. so again, it's around about uh, 12 nanoseconds. So this would correlate to a frequency up in the sort of 50 megahertz area. So the spectrum total power measurement is very useful for characterising RF pulse type uh, signals.